Hello, everyone. Welcome to Income Investors. My name is John Whitefoot, and with me today is Mo Zolfiker with a quick economic update. Our goal with these videos is not to tell you what to buy or sell, but rather inform you what's going on in the markets. And if you want to read more about Income Investors is all about, head to IncomeInvestors.com, and you'll find a link to the website in the description below. So, Mo, what have you got for us today? And today, I want to talk about something that average investors may not hear about much in the mainstream share buyback. I think they are invisible and holding the stock market up and is something great for income investors as well. That's an interesting take. But before we go into details, could you explain a bit to our viewers about what share buybacks actually are? Yeah. So share buybacks essentially is company going out and buying back their own shares. Generally, companies do it because they think there aren't any investment opportunities for them out there. On the plus side, for income investors, it's a great thing. Buybacks reduce the number of outstanding shares, and this means that investors now own more of the company. And also, buybacks create demand for shares in the stock market, and it positively impacts the stock price. Okay, so just how aggressive are the share buybacks from S&P 500 companies right now? John, it's huge. In the fourth quarter of 2023, S&P 500 companies bought 219.1 billion worth of their own shares. This was up 18% compared to the third quarter of 2023 and up 3.7% compared to the fourth quarter of 2022. And now let's look on the bigger picture. In the entire year of 2023, the S&P 500 companies bought back 795.1 billion worth of their own shares. Now expanding it a little bit more. In 2022, S&P 500 companies have spent 922.7 billion on their share buybacks. And over the past five years, these companies have spent 3.84 trillions on stock buybacks. And if you go over the past 10 years, they've spent $6.83 trillion on their share buybacks. And now for some perspective, India's gross domestic product or GDP is around $3.4 trillion. And if stock buybacks were a country, they would be the third largest economy in the world. Now, those are like pretty uh, like big, staggering numbers. Now, do you happen to know which companies are buying back their shares the most? Yeah, the, the list of company is huge. But if you continue with S&P 500, in the fourth quarter of 2023, 313 S&P 500 companies bought back their shares. This was up from 281 companies in the third quarter of 2023 and 318 companies in the fourth quarter of 2022. Apple has been the powerhouse when it comes to buybacks. In 2023, the company spent $83.9 billion on share buybacks. Over the past five years, Apple has spent $429 billion. And over the 10 years, it has spent $658 billion on buybacks. Okay, now, like more broadly, like what are you like really watching here with share buybacks? So, John, what's what's happening is the share buybacks are growing. In 2024, according to Goldman Sachs, S and P 500 companies are expected to buy 900 billion worth of their own shares, and in 2025, this number is expected to exceed one trillion. And I think this phenomenon shouldn't be ignored by income investors. Usually companies announce their buybacks and how much they're willing to spend. Investors may be, be able to take advantage of it and it could boost their portfolio returns. That's great. Well, thanks for your insights. If you want to check what income investors is all about, you can find the link to our website in the description below. While you're there, you could sign up for our free special report on three income stocks to own today. One of these stocks currently has a dividend yield of 12.7%. We'll be back with income picks soon, so stay tuned and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye for now.